it out. All right, that's good. Uh, I'll just promote one other server and. Uh, let's see. Where, Where did we used to do the the analysis? What Discord did we used to do it? I think this was this has always been the Discord. Oh well, let's go to the general one. I think because Umar sometimes like to join, right? I uh, you know, like I usually prefer like pri I usually prefer okay. like private in these. Okay, I'm just okay. No problem. Senses. Okay. Like obviously, if it was Marth, then maybe we could do it. But yeah, it's not Marth. So. Yeah, if it's like if it's like a Marth, I'd say I'm more down. But yeah. like I don't want conversations to get derailed. Oh, I see. Sometimes yeah, yeah. I that's yeah. that's the other reason because sometimes they can get derailed. Yeah, 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 we've had some good to the point sessions lately. So. Mm -hmm. All right, analysis without money. Okay, we are we're good to go to start. All right, uh, do you want me to go over my? Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, I sure. uh, just want to make sure yeah. is my OBS good. Okay, it's good. Um, so the main notes I took, like initial notes I took from this set, there were like three ones that really stood out. Is uh, I get I tunnel vision and get very knee happy when mm. I find like a pattern, like okay. I find a pattern. Uh, I would get very knee happy and tunnel vision on it. Um, I had a good mental when down or after tough bounces. If you see, like, throughout the set, there were some tough breaks that happened, but I had a really good mental to bring it back um, throughout. And yeah. uh, solid ground game when pressured. Those are the main ones I, I took from this. Solid ground game. What was the second thing you said? Solid uh, ground game. When, when pressured. When pressured. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Okay, I like those. Okay, those are two really good uh, notes. Two very um, concrete notes. Okay, great. All right, let's start it. Oh, no, sir. Man, you gotta have some fucking sound. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, how does he have a soppy audio, dude? Yeah. Interesting tag. I know. Nice. <laughs> Let me see this. Okay. Oh, he's one of those foxes. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, he's nobody like... gets this normal. Nobody gets this on a controller that 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 good, right? He... Not many. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that bullshit. Nice tech, though. Oh, nice knee. I like it. Very good job. I like what you're doing here. Okay, that's good by him. Oh, perfect weird dash. Okay, you're okay. So keep track of this. You represented the role. He caught it, right? Yeah, he caught it. Okay, no problem. Good pressure by him. Ooh. Okay. Uh, do you think there's any other tech I could have done? Uh, I'm just wondering if you could have, after this nair, if you could have rolled. Okay. Let me see. Because I don't know if this is true punish. Oh, you. Oh, no. Yeah, you blocked it, right? Uh, you go, try back, to roll? go back. Go back. Just like. I'm in jump squat, it looks like, here. I'm in oh, jump okay. squat. So I tried jumping out of shield. That's probably what I tried doing. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, sometimes a really good thing to do with Falcon here is hit their shield and roll in immediately, like if you're about a ledge. Okay, so just, like, yeah. wait for them to hit the shield and then just roll in and just get out of it? Yeah, like, you hit their shield and you roll. You do nair to roll or something, you know? Okay. Yeah. It's so like Falcon nair out of shield and then roll? Or? Wait, say it again? Like, Falcon nair out of shield and roll? Or, like, roll away and then nair? No, like right, right here. I'll show you. Uh, after that narrow, just roll immediately. Roll into center. Okay. Yeah, roll into center. Just because uh, you, you have a safe chance to do it, kind of, you know? Mm -hmm. In worst case yeah. scenario, if you get punished for the roll, you're still in, like, a exactly. center position. Exactly. So. Okay. But you did have a nice tech there. Let's go grab... Nice. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, no, that sucks. Thank you. Nice. Mm. Mm. I guess you try to reverse it, right? Yeah, I was trying to reverse it. Yeah. 
Nice forward tilt. Good grab. Missed that dash. Nice. You're playing well here. Ah, dash again. Fine. Nice. Good. Really good, dude. Really good. Oh. oh. Let me get this here. Uh, four yeah. throw pop. Uh, do you think four throw would have been better? No, up throw's fine. It's just here. Um, I tried. I tried C seeing, but I think I was still landing. Okay. Yeah, I think just here this needs to be a little cleaner because if you up throw, uh, I would just wait. Uh, and then wave land down right here. Okay. Like, uh, yeah, just so you hit the ground faster. Instead of just like doing an aerial or yeah. something. Yeah, or you could just do an aerial on the way up, you know? I don't think air doing an aerial on the way up is bad, you know? What, like a rising nair or like yeah, a rising, rising air. Yeah. Yeah, because I know Wizzy, like, he'll do the rising nair. That's the yeah, exactly. He'll do the rising nair. Yeah. Because it, it can, like, stuff him. Like, the first hit nair or something like that can stuff him. Yeah, well, actually, back. the first hit nair goes extremely low. So it goes really low. So if they try to sweet spot here, the, the thigh will hit them, you know? Mm hmm. So, but yeah, anyway. Okay, see if we can clean up this kill. Good block there. Shit. Uh, I think you could have gentlemen here, right? Uh, crouch okay. cancel. Yeah, definitely. I could. I got a gentleman. Okay, or grab whatever. Okay, and then, and right here, when you roll, right here, right. Mm-hmm. It's really important to see if you have time to jump out of shield or not <clears throat> on this reset situation. I don't know. I think I've talked to you about it with Falco, right? But yeah, I think we. It, so it, it, that's the other thing I want to ask because, like, it's probably similar in some ways. So, like, what what are you thinking with Fox here? Yeah, yeah. So, like, after you roll, right? There's sometimes where you can like jump and nair, right? And there's sometimes where if he nairs first, you're just gonna get stuffed, right? Yeah. After you roll. So in this situation, you got to realize, like, in this specific spacing, do I have enough time to jump and do an aerial or not? Mm -hmm. And let's, you know, and it finds, you know, he's just too close, right? Yeah, he's too close. Well, he can just out. He can out hitbox me. Yeah. So that's the that's the what I, I just want you to focus on here, especially after a roll. Is it, can he out hitbox me at this range? If I can, then I probably need to block again, right? Okay. So yeah. is, it then, just, is it just like a game of like a shield again and see what they cover? Kind of like how yeah. it is with Falco. Like, are they covering the aerial out of shield? Are they covering yes. the roll? Is it a similar uh, sort of concept? Yeah, similar too. Yeah, exactly. And remember what what's what's so good about shielding here? Why is it good to shield here? Mm hmm. Uh, it's good to shield here. Why? Because look how high this nair is. If he hits your shield, it's probably right? it's probably grabbable. Right. So anytime Fox immediately nairs from that close, it's definitely shield grabbable, right? Yeah. Like right here, that's like a very it's like the high downer thing. Pretty much. Yeah. Exactly. exactly like the high it. downer. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Exactly. So keep that in mind. Uh, okay. So pretty nasty punish off it. Oh, oh that was a fucking wacky ass up tilt. Uh, okay, nice. Cleaned it up. Okay. All right. Well, we took a lot of percent, right? But mm -hmm. yeah, we did. I mean, that's kind of normal for Falcon. So I don't particularly like you cornering yourself here, but um, yeah. Get out. Yeah, you get out. Nice but... grab. Good. Hmm. So if they, I guess that's fine. You got the punish anyway. Good, nice. Oh, okay, Nathan. <laughs> that's new. I usually don't go low like that. Often. Yeah, that was really good. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I can see why you go with the ledge and have ability here. Ledge game is pretty clean here. Yeah, it, it, that's the one thing that I'd say I feel really comfortable with going to ledge lately. Like, I took yeah. what you said about the wave dash back, but the thing is, like, a lot of people I've noticed, they just, they try to pressure and they just wait, they just wait for you to just, like, run around and do something. And, like, in some cases, I just think the ledge... Just yeah, like, if they can't deal with you on the ledge, that's, yeah, I totally get it. And that's the reason why I'm doing it, is that, like, early on, it's like, oh, I'm going to just test and see... Can they handle the ledge? If they can't handle the ledge, I'm just going to chill there until they actually contest it. 
Okay, yeah, that makes know, sense. Okay, I like it, it, yeah. Until they actually contest it, because then I will actually do my other stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like, I just feel a lot... Right now, I just feel really comfortable. Uh, yeah, just I, the your luck game's really clean so far, so... Nice, good job. All right, let's see this. Okay, good, you snapped. You're still alive. Ooh, what was that roll? Was that an accidental roll? Uh, maybe a panic. Yeah. That's probably a panic. Just I should okay. just want... Another one of those deals, just watch your opponent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you missed the edge guard. Oh, oh. Let's see this. I think I could have entered out. So top. here, um, as soon as you're up here, you, I don't know. It's it's kind of a tough situation. Like I understand messing up, you know. Mm-hmm. But if you mess up and you tournament winner. Like, right here, you know you messed up, right? Yeah, I know I messed up. So, here, you can wait a little longer. Because, because like, if he... The only way he's going to hit you is if he commits there, right? Yeah. So, then, so you can still... Like, I like the double jump here, right? But you can still wait and wait, wait. Look how long you have to wait, right? You can you can see whether you have to drift forward or back here. Yeah, it's kind of like a falcon... It's like a, the falcon up B thing where, like, do I yeah, go to exactly. stage or do I go back? Yeah, he doesn't know if you're going back towards the ledge or into the center of the stage, right? Mm-hmm. Until, like, right oops, here, right? Yeah, where so, I go down with an up air. Yeah, like, it's fine. I understand, like, making mistakes is part of the game, but, make it, but like, minimizing it, it's a really big deal here, right? Because you're, you're, th- you're, not, you're not really in threat here, right? Unless he jumps and nears you, right? But you, you're double jumping, which is good. You have time to wait, wait. Yeah, and it's, see, for, it's such yeah. a commitment for him to, like, do something already to begin. Exactly, exactly, yeah. So... Uh, yeah, just think about that. Do you think I could like air dodge back or just like continue? Yeah, just, I think like, you could air dodge back. Yeah. Okay. Air dodge back or drift. Yeah. All right. Nice, good patience there. Good stomp. Oh, that shit was sick. I tried uh, edge cancel. So that's actually something. Um, so if you look at this stomp right here. Yeah. Um, this is actually a setup. Like, so I tried edge canceling and I fucked it up. Um, oh, okay. Where they'll do a turn around like edge can't stomp, and yeah. they'll pop up the fox and get a knee. Oh shit! That's so um, bad. Uh, like a falcon named Bab activated really uh, has pioneered it, and I think it's really good to implement to play because oh, there's less lag on the stomp because you're edge canceling it. Yeah, and it can yeah. be a bit of a di mix up if uh, you get the reverse. It's very very sneaky, and I really like this setup. Plus, you can even, like, rising air out of it as well. Like, okay, of, that's sick as fuck. There's a okay, bunch of yeah. mix up, so, like, I tried going for it here. Okay, cool, good to know. All right, but... Nice grab. Good, I like that respect there, really good. I like you... Especially because you know he plays on a box, right? Yeah, pretty much. So, I like you covering that. Okay, you missed the roll punish, but it's kind of not a big deal. Um, so we talked about SDI and drill. So yeah, I, you remember how we talked about how um, like uh, the auto is to grab. So like, yeah. say they space around it to where that grab is not available. Uh, one thing I've seen Johnny do mm-hmm. is he will SDI and then gentleman. Is that just yeah, something like that. to consider or like yeah, roll definitely. away? Yeah, I think that's something to consider. I think here it's better to go for a move than not. Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because you guys both land pretty much at the same time. Mm-hmm. And it's on him to kind of confirm it. Uh, but I guess Fox is pretty fast. So. I don't but yeah, the gentleman I... there would have been really nice. The gentleman there would have been I nice. don't think I SDI'd it. That's a problem. Okay, yeah, that's true. Really good holding down there. Really good. Good defense. Good job. I love that. I love this. I love the patience here. Jump. Wait. Perfect. Really good. 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 Nice. Good patience. Okay. Oh, that was a really good angle. Rectangle. Yeah, <laughs> that's a crazy rectangle. Um, you have time to refresh here. Uh, yeah. I, I keep playing. I just want to see. Sure. Yeah, I do. Because then I could have done the invincible up air. Even yeah. the invincible knee probably could have killed him. Yeah, definitely. So, first time. Nice. Good up air. Oh, oh, good job fast falling that. Really good. No refresh. Yes. You refresh that. That was good. Okay. 
Okay, the pen is pretty clean so far. Nice. Good job, good patience. Yes, good patience. That was grabbable, that dash attack. Go back. Yeah, it definitely was grabbable, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's grabbable. That's a club, yeah. I've been noticing stuff like that a lot more. So, uh, typically, what I find is so uh, sometimes foxes will intentionally do that dash attack to do like the cross up. Oh, uh, yeah. To bait me to grab. And same thing with Sheik's. <laughs> But I'm finding that I'm finding a lot more openings to where when they miss space and that was one of those instances where that was grabbable. Yeah, that was a big that was a big turning point if you got that punish. Alright, let's see what you got here. I got the grab. Okay, you missed the thing. Ooh, oh, oh fuck. Nice, good punish. I, you remember what we, we talked about? We lab that. We lab that. Yeah. You remember what nice. we talked about like two yeah, years you, ago? Yeah. I was <laughs> really happy that I got that punish. Yeah, that's I, I was party. like, that's like the, the we I lab that constantly. It's like, yes, I finally yes, found it. Sure. That was the opening where you can do that. Yeah. Okay. okay, so he's dashed in three or four times without an aerial. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's dashing it and blocking. He's playing this very patient, right? So you as you kind of have to recognize this, and sometimes I would meet him in the middle and just grab him, right? Okay. Because he's not he's not throwing out hitboxes for at least a good a good like a good while into his dashes. So let's take a look. Hold on. It's something I actually have been getting caught by actually by a lot of players. Like mm -hmm. I was playing Umar last night, and I was getting caught by that snap. Uh, makes a living off of this versus right. me. And I, I've re I've realized this is like I'm glad you pointed this out. Yeah. So I get okay. the punish. Okay. Um. Okay. Look, he's gonna play really safe here, right? Probably gonna run a block, right? Yep, that's one. Run that's two. Yep. Run up. Three. Block. Yeah. So that, that, that's like three times he did it. Yeah. So, oh, good shit. You're you, he's definitely playing very scared, you know, which is good. Mm -hmm. You punch the roll. Got to punch this. Oh, I fucked it up. I, I fucked that up. That's not even like a box angle. Yeah. It's just I just fucked it up. Oh, nice pivot grab. Good shit. Look at that. So you punish. Look, we punish the run up throw grab here. The run up, uh, basically run up delay button, right? Yeah. This time he did shine. Yeah. So trust your pivot grabs a little more here. Nice. 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 Good shit. Yeah. See, so like I like how you're switching to grab mode just basically because you know he's he's not throwing a lot of hitboxes, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah. Good job. Okay. You cleaned it up. Really good. That was a good game. Even with like two really big mistakes from you, you know? You like still won that. Nice. Good shit. Really good. Interesting. Very nice. Uh, go back again. I just want to see. He got me like multiple nerves or so. Yeah, another yeah. situation where I just tried stopping. Yeah, exactly. Where it's like, uh, can you can you pull it out or not, right? Yeah. Can I? It's it better like, you know, that's probably a situation where I probably could have just rolled. Yeah. And got so what I like to do so, sometimes here, after, after you get here, sometimes the wave dash back at a hit stun is good. Or, like, when in hit stun, just, like, wave dash back or wave land? Yeah, well, like, wave dash back right here. Like, you guys are both there. You can wave dash back and block. Mm -hmm. Or wave dash back, yeah. Um, you can, like, wave dash back CC, even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Nasty combo. Oh, good fastfall. Wow, that was crazy smash yeah. I thought my defense was pretty good. A good portion. Yeah, your defense is pretty good. Nice. Ah. Uh, I think my punishes have gotten a little lackluster. I've been more focused on the chic punish game recently. Okay. I'm not too like concerned with my punishes. I want to work on like the neutral decision making for. I want to yeah. work on my neutral decision making before I go 
back to my punches again because if I were to work on my punches right now, I get really bad tunnel vision. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Really sure. bad tunnel vision, so I want to work on these aspects because I think my base punish game is already really good. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Good. Oh, good shit. You used that Naren shield perfectly, but you didn't. Um, that will cancel, unfortunately. Yeah, it's your knee. Yeah. Nice delay. Nice going forward here. Let me see this interaction here after you hit him. I shielded. I know for a fact. Yeah. That was one. Of, do you think it was one of those chase down situations that we mentioned before? Where, like um, I could, I could have just like narrowed. My question is here is, once you hit that near, it's green light, right? Yeah. You hit it in the ground. So I don't know what. The, oh, you shielded yet? Yeah, yeah. I don't know where the hesitation is here. Yeah. You know, kind of thing. High high percent, either that or I held on to the trigger too long. Yeah. It was like one of those situations was like, yeah, I could have definitely gone something for that. Get some more off these grabs. Oh shit, that was sick. Nice. Okay, refresh, good. Interesting option. Oh my god, that was crazy. That was a good chase down by man. Yeah. That was insane right there. Do you think I could have air dodged or anything like that, like to recover? Or you think I was just kind of donezo? Uh, yeah, you could air dodge. Well, you did near dodge, but that was kind of just a rough spot. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, he, his punish game is really good, right? Mm hmm. Very good. So that means yours has to be somewhat good, too, right? Yeah, I have to match it or outdo it. Yeah. And you've gotten three grabs. You haven't got much off those two grabs yet, right? Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. Ooh. So I'm smash. Good block. Okay, so after you get a power shield like this, it's like it's really hard because power shields don't necessarily help you out that much. But yeah, because like he's still crossing me up with the nair. Yeah. Like, do you think back air shield could have been decent to catch him yeah, while he's in nair log? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't hate that stomp. I think that's fine. But it's got a bit of start up. That's the only problem. Okay, I like you controlling center here. Nice. Okay. Oh, shit. Kind of got a good read off the up tilt. Oh. So just a punish game disparity here. Yeah, you're not getting any solid hits, which is really hard. Yeah, I know, need, so, that was the first time I did the instant up air also the whole game. Yeah. This is such a rough spot for Falcon to be in. Yeah. On just, kind of, just kind of out hitboxed, really. Yeah, pretty much out hitboxed. Yeah. I mean, you can kind of look for a grab as much as you want here, but it's still really hard. It's just you have yeah. to get a solid hit, you know? Yeah, like, I could have gone for instant up air, but, like, he's, like, putting in hitboxes in places where it's, like, generally yeah. favorable for Fox. Like, I got, like, a Nair and it traded with his Nair. Yeah. I like, think, he, I think he's just, generally winning the exchanges. Yeah. I think here, it's just really unfortunate because, like, this random back here didn't, didn't hard hit, you know? Yeah. And, you're, yeah, that traded... You know, he decided to up tilt there instead of dashing forward. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Really unfortunate. Yeah, right there. But it's, I mean, this this stage, unfortunately, is 90, like, so much about getting a grab and tech chasing, right? 
yeah, we've like talked about before. Like it pretty much is you have to punish to win. You pretty much have to outpunish the fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't really too shaken by it though. Like, yeah, that was just. A... I was just like, ah, it's just a, it's just FD. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that knew was insane. Alright, he's got the knockdown. Alright, okay. So, uh, just in general, what I've noticed from you is if you get one of these kind of like weird late hit nairs, you're not you're not quick enough off it, you know? Mm-hmm. I think like, we talked about this a while back also. Like a mutual okay. late. Yeah, so you, I think you're surprised for some reason that you hit this like this really late nair, right? Mm-hmm. But you really have to be confident in knowing exactly what you want off these like late nairs. Um, just pick something. Pick a pick miss tech option, right? Yeah, like pick a because, pick a stomp right? or pick a knee. Because mm-hmm. they're just as surprised that they got hit by it, right? So they're not going to tech it usually. Mm-hmm. Right. So this situation is a very common situation where you just have to like know exactly what you want off that, right? Yeah. Okay. Is it just like okay, something? Just like, is it something I should like Uncle Punch about, or just like, just something I, I should be aware of? I think something we should be aware of, like if you're playing against foxes or like or in general anybody, when you hit like a really light nair, you know, mm-hmm. like as soon as you hit that light nair, you're just being kill mode, you know, unless yeah. it's obviously crowd canceled, but in that case, it wasn't, right? Yeah, like when they're in the air and you like clip them. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. That's, that's a big yeah we've talked about this before in the past how i was pretty late on that that was just another one of those instances where yeah i was still late exactly yeah oh no the flip was weird nice good trade a good block there okay I'm pissed mm-hmm. because my imp, my jump didn't come out. Okay, your jump didn't come out. Okay. My ju- my jump didn't come out because I was gonna up air this. Oh yeah. Pretty even game. Oh, this gentleman right there. All right, so this situation I see kind of a lot here. Okay, when he's when you're under a fox on a platform, you got to be a little more decisive. You got to be like, am I going to challenge him or am I not going to challenge him? Hmm. Okay. You know, because if you're going to, if you're not going to challenge him, you need to dash way further away. Right. Yeah. But if you are, then you need that upper needs to be immediately immediate. Right. Yeah. So I, w- so, I want to see when he's above again. Okay. So right there. Above. Right. Yeah. I already committed to something with the back air. So like, yeah. It's better if I just dash away as is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you know you can't get the up air trade or something there, then just dash just, away. Just get out of their hold center. Yeah, oh shit. Nice, good shit, good job punishing that up tilt. And that was a pretty late nair as well. Yeah, the late nair confirmed too, right? Yep, per- grab. Yeah, good, yeah, that's, that's a money maker right there. Nice. Okay, missed up. Yeah, I'm getting better with it in other matchups. Like, I'm not too worried about my punishers right now. Yeah. Oh, good shit. Okay. Could have gone out there. Oh, that but... grab was amazing, Nathan. What the fuck? I, like I could have gone. I, like... I could have gone out there potentially. Yeah, you could have. Let me see. Ah, uh, yeah, it was it was close. He could have side beat like right away. It's kind of. Oh no. Gotta get those gotta get those kills. Good. Nice. Oh man, this guy likes to roll. <laughs> That's what I'm saying is that I tunnel vision. Because I know he rolls. Nice. Nice. Oh. Yeah, so right here is a situation. I've seen you cover it before. Right here, you do you do the jump, right? Yeah, he does the jump. And then if you if you just look for him, if you up ease and you jump out there and, and up air, right? I wanted to see the height he was at. Yeah. 
Okay, and so he goes down there. Okay, that's so pretty hard to hit. I can't really go low for that. I have to respect yeah, that. That's really hard, yeah. But like, that was a nice angle by him. But Rectangle. Yeah. Good job being patient here. Good gentleman. Okay. Oh, okay. I like the stomp there. The stomp, I think, is really good if you don't have invincibility, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like if you trade, it's totally fine. Yeah. Especially on a stage like this, because it's hard to get like a uh, the tech wall jump. Yeah, your invincibility has been really good. Dealing with invincibility has been really good. Ooh, okay. So go back yeah. again. You remember how we talked about like this Falcon back roll habit constantly? It's one of those yeah. instances. So I just want to see like, is this just another one of those things where I should just stay in shield a bit more, way dash out, like? Yeah, I, or I'd say it's just stay in shield. Do you, it was because it's like one of the rare deals that I just got got with it. Yeah, you go with it. But the thing is, is that like it's okay if you roll. You just don't have to roll right away, right? Yeah. So as soon as you get hit, you kind of roll, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, just you can just wait a little second. Late hit in air. Yeah, he shields oh, yeah. it. So, he DIs at that time. Yeah, but also keep keep in mind here the mix up is if he's holding down here, right? You just knee him, right? Mm -hmm. You just near knee. Yeah. But if he's not, you know. Then he... Yeah. So this time he mixed it up. Yeah. Good shield there. Good job waiting for your shield to refresh. Okay, just off smashes. I want to see you mix in a little bit more uh, dash dance into block. Just for stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. He's just going to do a random move, you know? Yeah, like, the dude's just going to let it rip. Yeah, so just just mix it in just a little bit. Yeah, I've been working on just, like, a more grounded game. Like, just, mm -hmm. like, a general Jazz Chance game. Because I have the spacing to do it. Yeah, yeah. It's just a matter of, like, actually applying it. So that was just one of those deals. Sure. And that's what... You remember how I talked about how I successfully sdi yeah. the drill? So uh, I'm happy. Good SDI, but this is not... Not grabble. Uh, he's wait. He's waiting for it this time. Yeah, he is. So like, this is one of those deals where either wait dash back, uh, reset mm -hmm. and roll, or do something else. It just anything other than grab. Yeah, pretty much anything under the grab. Yeah, you can mash like you can even mash jab and then block if you notice the the jab misses or something. Mm-hmm. Okay, good there. You oh good. Okay, that yeah. worked. Nice. Messed up there. Uh, roll lord yeah close and good mm. here i would like a wave dash back out of shield right here yeah it's uh yeah just yeah, a little he... you know yeah yeah because he, those... he undershoots yeah. it yeah or hold shield, right? Yeah, one or the other. It's like one of those things where it's like it's you don't have the frames to contest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, good. I'm sick. Nice. Oh, almost. Nice, Nathan. These guys fucking rolling like that. I'm left by the knot. Yeah, Steach uh, likes to roll. That's the biggest thing I take. And that's why I tunnel vision a bit. Because he rolls in. Grab. Okay. I could have maybe re -grabbed. I think I was playing it safe. Yeah. Nice stomp. Oh, oh my god, how did I hit? Nice. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god! Ding, ding. <laughs> how the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, you already won the game, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> he down smash because he thinks he's gonna roll. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, okay. Fucking Jesus Christ. Th that's where I was pretty happy I stayed composed because I knew there yes. were many points where I basically won the game. I had the win. Yeah. Yeah. But I just dropped it. That's where I was happy with my composure. I didn't stay. I didn't get overwhelmed. I was like, okay, just, you know, just, just keep it up. Keep it up. Because he was under heavy pressure pretty much the entire yeah, that entire final much. stock. Like, yeah. since I got the knee, he was just... I knew he was under heavy pressure. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, you're definitely playing way, way better on platform stages. 
Mm-hmm. And then Yoshi's story. You remember when we talked about? Oh yeah, how- we talked about Yoshi's story, right? Uh, I've, I'm. Uh, this is the only game I kind of trigger because I kind of threw this, but I've been getting better on story recently. I've done a lot of my tech skill prep just on story to begin with now. Okay. I missed it that time. That's great. Okay. Nice. I like what you're doing there. Even though it didn't work, I really like the idea. Mm-hmm. Because you're understanding that you have limited space, right? Yeah. So you're hold, you're dashing and holding down. Like I really like that. Good. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, I like that. You did the little crash cancel shit. Good shit. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. He hit my, it that time. My CC game is getting progressively better. Yeah. I'm noticing it's getting a lot better. I'm more proactive out of it. Yeah. Oh, sick. Good patience there. Good. Oh, no. We gotta hit these techs, bro. Should I just, like, stomp again if they're, like, constantly missing those no techs? Like, yeah. just, like, multi stop until, like, it's a pop up to where I can knee? I think so. Yeah. Because, like, he's roll, he's buffering roll on the jabber set to where, like, the jabber set's probably not the best option in case he's prepared to, uh, to roll after yeah. the jabber set. So just stop again. Yeah. Just or, stop do you again. do you think even four B? Oh uh, yeah, four B's not bad. Yeah. Like I know Kellen and I like Kellen told me a while back like the stop to four B is okay to do sometimes because yeah. I haven't thrown four B out at all the set. That's that's a good point. Yeah, actually, I didn't think about that. Yeah. All right, I really like this. So I like that you did this knee right, perfect, and then. You, short dash chance is fine. I wouldn't have dash chance here, but you realize you have enough space here to up air, right? Yeah, definitely have enough. Yeah. Good trade. Yeah, very good trade. Wow, that was your movement's really nice here. Oh, yeah, that di on the shine was actually crazy. Yeah, oh, that's shoot. actually that's actually such good di on the shine. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. I think he could have blocked this, right? Yeah. Could have Prob- I think probably. Okay. okay. Oh, almost. Okay, so right here, you've been doing this block flight in air here under the ledge. I'll forget a block, right? Yeah. Um, it's fine, but just keep note. He's not falling for it anymore, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, he's waiting. Yeah. Nice. Now he did the Falcon kick, though. I like it. Good yep. mix-up. I want up oh. EM4, but I fucked it up. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, the fuck. That was so... Oh, my God. God my... Oh, my God. Oh, good ambiguous DI, bro. That was amazing. That was so smart. Nice. Oh, the shit, that DI. Okay. Oh, no. I fucked up the J... I fucked up the grab. Yeah. Okay, good job. You stomped there, even though he. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Had to... okay. Um. So anytime, anytime. Basically, you're covering side B, right? Okay, but as soon as you see him up B, you have time to refresh. Like it j- just like drop down, just drop down, refresh. Yeah, drop down, refresh, and then do your aerial. Okay. Or do you think even like at this? Hey, I'm away. So I wanted to see when I go and first grab the ledge, and he starts to be backtrack a little bit. Okay. So I want to see him. So he's off stage. Oh, I could drop. I could drop down up air this and drop down back air this. And yeah, you could do a lot of things here. Like I guess that's like I call it the the Ganon drop, basically, where you do a drop down up air. I could probably tip yeah. in it. That's true. Then he has a nice tech here. 
Yeah, that was good. Wow. This was just crazy. That's a fucking box dash. Jesus Christ. Do you know how hard that is to do with a controller? Yeah, Text it's fucking hard. Wingland? That's so fucking hard to yeah. do. Yeah. I have my thought. I have my thoughts. Like, there's some things that boxes are good at, some things that aren't they aren't good at. So I mean I just have I just think I don't try to think too much about it when I'm in tournament because yeah, yeah. it just makes you more salty, in For my sure. opinion. So I'm just like I don't really think about it. Which in my opinion is the best way to go about it. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. Oh shit. Uh, okay. All right, so these nares aren't working anymore, right? Basically, because he's, you know, he knows he, you want to do the center forward, right? Yeah, yeah. He's okay. like, is this where I should shift to doing the tip nair? Maybe yeah, what we talked nair. about, or like, yeah. or trying to go for knee to trade with the up tilt mm -hmm. or beat it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. You because you can wait till the very last second to decide whether you want to drift forward or back. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so. usually my auto. Is just mm -hmm. to drift forward with it. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, like I'm drifting forward. Like, let's see. Uh, drift forward again. Oh, shit. Randall. Okay. Oh, I'm oh so, my God. I'm so sad oh. that I missed that because it was a good soft knee up here, edge guard. Yeah. It's Okay. Okay. Uh, you can't hide out. Yeah, yeah. Do you okay. think he? Uh, hey, go back. I want to see. Could I maybe drop zone up there that, or do you think that's too much? That's a little too much. You could have. It's pretty high. It's pretty tight to hit, though. Yeah. Good. I like you spacing around the dash there. Really good. Okay. Good job. Oh, barely missed that stone. Oh. Okay. So. I think I was looking for a place on that. Yeah, that's just unfortunate there. Good job getting out. Big stomp. Oh my gosh. You're getting so many hits. You just gotta kill him. The stomp, right? Let me see the stomp. Okay, he does the tech roll shit again. Okay. Oh, barely missed that. Fuck. Good up, E, backwards. That was so unfortunate, Nathan. You got the hits. Yep. Uh, that was you the only way better than Missy story than I thought, though. That was pretty good. Was it? Yeah, that was way better than I thought you would play in your story. Yeah, um, I was. I was like, damn that. That was kind of a, that. That one was a stinger. Yeah. Bit. Like I'm, I'm more salty about the game four actually than the game five because I'm like, ah. Gotcha. Damn. I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you got to I mean, do a little more work off throw, you know? Yeah. Like I think I, I'm not as polished mm -hmm. as I usually am. I, again, I'm not too worried about it because I've had that flow chart like on lock in the past. Yeah. That's why I'm not worried. Okay. Because I know this is still my fountain. That's still going to always be my main foundation. Yeah. It's working on other areas. Because when yeah, I go sure. back to this, then this will be like a very defined like base. Yeah. And definitely stomp no tech is something we got to you know, just clean up a little bit. But Yeah. Like pretty much like if I double stomp, probably yeah. win the set. Like yeah, go back too. again. I just want to see the stomp jab reset. <laughs> yeah like I, I probably pop them up i probably will like i double stomp and pop them up or even like just even stomp knees okay even here yeah like, needing the no tech because uh, worst case scenario he gets a crazy tech he gets a really crazy tech but that's not the end of the world yeah know, exactly it's, it, it's treated more as a reset in some way and i still have pressure on him and gotcha, that's just yeah. the worst case scenario. In the best case scenario, probably dies. 
yeah exactly story. There's, yeah there's, there's a lot of situations where yeah definitely stop no tech because like i honestly could close the game out in multiple areas yeah. without thinking about it in and general no talk no tech you gotta work on yeah especially with, you know light and air as well right mm-hmm. or uh yeah. okay Dreamland, big stone, big knee. Okay. Your movement's really clean. Okay, I'm pretty happy about this one detail today. I got hit back there. Ooh, you see how I wave landed? What the fuck? That was sick. Yeah, that was sick. That's something I've been working on is like on the fly to do a wave on out of that to get out of situations. See, like I get gotcha. like air out of the air or something. Yeah. All right. So he's been doing this shine wave land back, shine wave dash back like a lot. Yeah. It, he caught he caught my roll. Yeah. But, he's, you know, just. For it. He he hasn't really done shine aerial shine aerial right much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so, really like not really like the mango lucky pressure at all. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. You know, he's kind of more looking for rolls than anything. Mm -hmm. So like, is that like my cue to like maybe do something out of shield like a a nair out of shield or something like that, yeah, or like stage exactly. shield? Like, what what should I do if they're more sniffing out for the roll? And not really trying to smother a shield with hitboxes. Like yeah, so I would nair and either either drift forward slightly or drift back slightly. Because if they wave dash back, right, he mm -hmm. might be trying to, you know, he could be trying to space an up tilt. But yeah, in general, I like the nair in place and decide whether you want to drift back or forward. Okay. Do you think like uh, in place is okay? Even as yeah, well? Yeah, in place is, is that... fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm mostly like wondering because. I treat, I see this as like, you know, they always, because this happens a lot where they usually just wait for me to roll in. They almost like have me like on a string in a way. Is this sort of like yeah. one of those deals mm -hmm. where I just have to just be, just be cognizant of yes. where they're positioned a lot of times? Like, do you think weight back is even okay here or is that like too much? Like, should, should I have, is I it better? Is fine. Okay. But you, you just be cognizant. Just be aware of it, you know? Okay. Like, Notice if they like to, what do they like to do after shine? Just ask yourself that. Do they like okay. to wave dash back after shine? Do they like to aerial after shine? I think that's a good explanation. Just what are they doing after the shine? Yeah. I think that's a good way to go off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good trade by me. I'm, I'm pretty happy with oh, no. that back air. You remember me talking yeah. about that back air, actually? I was pretty yeah, happy. that back air was good, yeah. Okay, what? Uh, oh, I just missed that, dude. It's barely. Uh, that's probably like up tiltable. Yeah. Especially because I did up tilt, I think, later in this game. Yeah. All right. Watch the habit. He notices this, right? Yep. The fade in. Yeah. I still have a tendency to stop out of shield a lot. That's kind of been my auto. Yeah. I times. actually like that you're doing it more. I used to never do it. Yeah. I've, it's just, and you're getting I a lot off the stumps, right? You're just, you're just, he's just not, he's just not teching, right? He's doing no tech. Yeah. A lot of times. I just missed the ledge. Yeah. With this. I thought ah. I would snap the ledge. Happens. Happens. Nice. That's a good idea by him. Oh, what the fuck? How the fuck did I hit? Fuck, punish game. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's rough. This is what I'm proud of. This is what I'm proud about. I kept in it. Nice. Nice up tilt. Good adjustment, bro. Nice. Beautiful. Good back air. You remember we talked about that back air yeah, a while back? back I was I was really happy about that up tilt. I brought it out. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. That was so sick. Okay, we got to get some more off that. I got to just opt to tech chase a bit more and trust it. Yeah. Just got to trust it. Oh, shit. God damn it. Really? I want to see. What percent was I at? He just, he just spot touch there? Zero percent. That's insane. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. So my question is here. Is after this is what I was talking about the tunnel vision now because you remember, you've seen how predictable he is with yeah, the again. Pretty much like what seems like 
80 to 90 percent of the time in the situation yeah this is like the problem i mentioned is that i feel like i tunnel visioned a ton and i fished for just this one single opening yeah okay so i like the knee here but my question is why not double knee here uh go back go back again it, it might not have hit it, but so i get the knee uh, I want to see what just what he did after I got the, the first knee. So, did he tech? I want I want to see. Yeah, he teched right there. Where did he tech? That wouldn't have hit. Okay, that wouldn't have hit. Okay. I think what happened there was fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, you're playing. I like your pressure here. All right, we're just missing some techs off down throws. Oh, oh, Nathan. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. Uh, that's uh, I meant to force. You're still, you're still in control. You're still in control. Good stock. Good stock. Good stock. But good job, and you waited to get the life, so you had a visibility. Awesome. Really good stock. See, so just like that, we're brought back. Yeah, that was really clean. Uh oh. Got got fox and it's fox. fine. It's it's like the first time I got caught by yeah. this entire set. And you got upgrade on Dreamland. It's not a big deal. All right. Good block, Nathan. Nice. Oh, hey, go back, go back, go back. Uh, late nair. Yeah, late nair. So but I see. like what you did here. I like. I, okay, yeah, you I, shielded. I shielded though. That's the I thing. don't mind it. I don't mind it. I like what you did here though. Because it was ambiguous, so you block and then you knee, which is fine. I it was the first time I threw out the knee as well. Yeah. Okay, good job. Good grab! Uh, oh. I can... Nice delay on the... Oh my god. Oh my fuck. You're apparently missing this. these punishes. Wait, how do you... Okay, let me see. Okay. Ooh, we had no chance. That was a really good side B by him. Yeah. Oh, good grab. Ah, these... Ah, okay, you got the roll that time. Nice! Oh! Was he, went very, he went very low. That was, like, a really yeah. ambiguous, like... Yeah, it was hella ambiguous. You're playing really good here, pressure-wise. Oh, good shit. Good crap, dude. Dude, you're playing amazing. What the fuck? Okay. A fucking up on the throws. Yeah. Okay. Ugh, okay. Okay. We got it. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is like the worst ending. I'm so sad about this. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh my god. Yeah, I flubbed. That was a flub. I didn't mean to go off stage. I meant to cover the in place on stage, and that's how it ends. No, <laughs> like that's unfortunate, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty you, proud of how I played this whole set. You played though. very clean. I'm I really... think it was a very clean set. I don't think it was like in terms of like I think it was very fluid of how I played. Yeah, but I think there was still a lot of drops I had. Yeah, just you just gotta okay, so uh yeah, just no tech and no tech and get more off throws is really the big thing. Okay, hang and, on, I'm gonna write these down, so yeah. Um one sec. Notebook out. Uh Bobby, I'm almost done with this notebook. Holy shit. I have two more pages left and it's completely done. That's insane. Damn, dude, that's insane. This notebook has been, dude. I've had this notebook since 2017. Dude, that's amazing, dude. That, that's that, that's. Some some young Falcon player is gonna find that, and. I'm gonna probably make a tweet about this later. About this, yeah. like once I complete the notebook, it's like this is five years worth of, of oh, notes. <laughs> that's okay, um, so, so uh, it was the first one was, uh, be more proactive on no tech. Yes, more proactive on no tech. Yes. Um, should be list specific options like. Um, uh, side B. Or... Because oh, yeah. we auto to jab reset pretty much. 
True, 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 true. Uh, so, like, um, I mean, just, like, stop. Uh, don't always auto-to-jab reset. Yeah, don't always auto-to-jab reset. You can auto-to-jab reset if you're ready, though, to yeah. punish the roll, right? That is true. Uh, or don't auto to kneeing after jab reset. Do you think yeah. that's better? Yeah, I think that's a good one. Yeah. Um. Uh, after. There's a certain percentage where they can't tech roll though. I think Fog Falco Fox is like I think 35 or some shit, and he can't roll. But I don't really know. Yeah, but I just I usually would always auto to jab reset knee, where that's I can true. just like I can still. Uh, yeah, that I treat it like a regular way. tech chase and just like. Yeah react and re-grab out of it i yeah, pretty sure. much always just opt in the it so that's one um what were the other ones that just came to mind um uh oh side b what like uh, no, no i'm not i'm not talking about like options oh. like oh oh um, oh the other uh, things um uh which color was it is uh Um, well, just in general, more off throws needs to be good. Uh, or confirm off late near. And so, hand, uh, hit harder off of throws. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just write Uncle Punch it. Okay. Like, uh, mm -hmm. off of throws. I'm gonna write Uncle Punch in parentheses. Cause, like, on most of the punishes, I, feel like i have a good grasp of what i need to yeah. work on i'm just rusty a bit rusty on it because i've mo I put more of my focus on just uh on just like working on chic stuff which has helped a ton yeah that's good. that's good that's good like uh, the bear the bear ops attack thing i've been theory crafting us uh after i get the bear and the ops attack i've been thinking of maybe even four smash can beat the the ops attack Ooh, let me say, let me say, let me i've been say. really thinking about this because i I've, I've been playing just a ton of different sheets recently yeah. And you know, I've got a lot of use of it. So, but back to the fox stuff. So, hit yeah. ha hit harder off of throw. Uncle punch yeah. it. A um, uh, little more run up block. More run up block and dash ants. Yeah, just once in a while to flash it. Uh, run up block. In. And then the other one is refresh on Firefox. Uh, I can uncle punch this as well. So, you know, the different side B, up B, up B, just refresh, you know. Uh, Uncle. Punch, because I'm working on the safe. I've been getting better at just doing safe saves for Uncle Punch. So that's, like, pretty easy to do. And then uh, you said uh, more proactive after late in air. Yeah, yeah. Um, active. Oh, oh, the other one was uh, if you're under a platform against Fox... Make up this. Make up your. Oh no no no! The biggest one actually. No, forget that one. No, it's not big. What are they doing after shine? Yeah. What was Fox? What does Fox? What are they do doing after shine? shine? Yeah. Yeah. What does Fox do? Yeah, and then just weigh like you have to pretty much like weigh the. Are they doing like sixty forty, rating for rolls? Are they doing you know? The good foxes will do both, right? Like yeah. So I'm gonna just write like weigh for roll. Yeah. Or pressure. Uh, right pressure more. I'm gonna write just like etc. because I know the options like and stuff like that. Um, so usually when they're wavelength, they're doing shine dash shine on your shield. That means they're looking for a roll, even if it's towards you. Mm hmm. So uh, yeah. So I'm looking through everything here. Uh, everything here. So more proactive after late nair. Uh, should I auto to anything in particular? Yeah, uh, auto to mistech. Uh, uh, auto to cover mistech. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cover no tech so here are the notes i have right now it is be more proactive versus uh be more proactive uh versus no tech don't auto to kneeing after uh after jab reset mm -hmm. uh hit harder off of throw uncle punch it uh more run up block in dash dance uh refresh yeah. on firefox uncle punch uh more proactive after light nair auto cover mm -hmm. Auto cover no tech. Uh, what does Fox do after shine? Yes. Wait for roll, pressure, etc. Yeah, good. 
yeah. Uh, is there anything cool. really else uh, notable? Um, no, I, I really think just a couple more interactions, you would have won that set for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty happy of how my Yoshi Story game Yeah, was. Yoshi Story game, I was really impressed, yeah. Yeah, like, I pretty much worked on that. Like, I've done nothing but, like, solo practice on story uh, specifically. Yeah. Uh, just, like, throughout the route because um, I'm realizing what you talked about where it's just very confined and oh, the edge guards and openings happen much earlier. Yeah, yeah. So I just take that, I exactly. just take that into account Good. when I do, Good. uh, when I do play on that stage. And, uh, Good. the Sheik stuff has been very helpful. I've, Good. Good. Do, I've done nothing but play Sheik, so, like, that's why, like, my other matchups are kind of rusty right now. Oh, yeah. Because I've put more of a focus on the Sheik matchup because it's the first time, I, like I said before, I, I feel pretty confident about it, and I feel like I'm getting good consistent progress good, good, um, yeah, yeah. In, in the matchup where like i feel like i have a good grasp of what i'm doing and i'm playing different levels of chic that's well. that's really important too because that's chic one of those characters that fuck sometimes you just get fucked by like random terrible well, sheiks right? and the thing is i've been playing a lot of sheiks that are you'd say quote unquote worse than me like on paper yeah. like True. on paper or worse than me and yeah. that's and those are the sheiks like i i've enjoyed the practice against because they help raise my floor in the match. Yes, yes, exactly, Nathan. Good. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. because I'm realizing that right now, like in this tournament in particular, I went to game five last talk against multiple players early on. Mm. So I'm yeah. realizing that this is what I am right now as a player, is that my ceiling is incredibly high, basically to yes. where I can play at a top 100, a top 50 level. Yes. But my floor, it can be very up-down. That's what I'm realizing right now, and it's learning to build my floor uh, back up to that point where I'm, where I'm still, I'd say, very consistent as a player, but still, like, it's a bit lower than what I usually am in terms of my floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and I want to work, I want to work to keep improving that because that's, like, kind of my strong point, um, because I'm seeing, like, because this is actually the only the second time I've played Steech. Uh, last time we played, I lost 3-1. That's progress. Oh wow! So yeah. three two, three two. Three, we two, basically, yeah. in my opinion, we honestly like one or two interactions. We win the set. So like, if anything, we're I'm not far, I'm not far off, and that's what I'm pretty happy about. Is that yeah. like, in the grand scheme of all this, you know, we're only we're only missing a few things and a couple heartbreakers here and there. But I I'm not really like too disappointed. Like my mental is in at least in a competing standpoint. And a competitor standpoint, I think my mental is in a very good place where it's like, okay, I'm like learning things and processing them well. I'm understanding it. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. But I think good. that's pretty much that's really it. Good. This will probably be up on YouTube in a bit. I appreciate that we always do these. Like, I like pretty much like if I find a good set I, I have in tournament, I'll probably just like. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like hit, doing it. It's fun. Hit you up for it because. I, I want to just do this like a bit more consistently, like once or twice every two to three weeks, because it's sure, been, sure. it's been helpful. Because like, then I just take what I've applied here, and I just take like a week or two to really just like hammer down on this, and it's been yeah, good. Exactly. And I'm learning to practice like more mature as well. Mm. Like you remember before where I would like we do these analysis, and I'd be like, oh my god, I gotta go do, do this, this, and this. Mm. I'm a lot more mature. And yeah. how I approach it, That's and I'm good, going yeah. to trust in what I'm ca what my capabilities are, in mm -hmm. some areas, uh, and other areas where I need to like kind of put a lot more thought into. Yeah, like my sense. defensive game, I have a lot more trust in. So yeah, like yeah. any sort of like thing that I'm kind of getting exposed for defensively, I'm not as concerned about, and I'm more focused on the other weak spots. Yeah, that's like good, yeah. I guess I guess like I'll use the sheet thing as as an example. Right. I wasn't too concerned when it came to like you know my DI and stuff like that or anything. Mm -hmm. I um I and same thing with like the the no tech thing. Like when we talked about how I would no tech. Yeah, um, yeah, no tech. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw that you were doing it. Yeah. I wasn't. I'm. I'm not as concerned. I wasn't as concerned about. It, so I put less of a focus on that aspect, and I worried more about just getting my edge guards down. And like I said, like I know it's a common cliche to just play people more, but. 
in a sense, you sometimes just need to because that's sometimes yeah. the only way to just get drilled in your head. And that's why I Pretty thought much, about yeah. when uh, when I was playing just like other sheiks because I'd get a better understanding of it. But like that's just one example, and I'll probably do a similar thing here where I'll probably lab it a bit on Uncle Punch. Um, some things on Uncle Punch. Hit up probably some foxes. I uh, just mm-hmm. like you know of all levels. Maybe start yeah. out lower level at first, and then work my way up to where I'm playing you know really good foxes, and then yeah. just uh, go from there. I don't know. Just like I- I'm, pro- I'm liking like despite absolutely everything else going absolutely crazy in my life right yeah. now. For some, this is one reason, little small thing you can work on. Yeah, yeah. Like and everything else going in my life right now. For some reason. Melee is in like I like this is I'm playing like probably some of the best melee I've played in a while. Like I feel Damn. very good with yeah. how I'm playing. I'm processing everything. I could see well. you have much more control. Like when you were getting hit there, you were in total control, which was really nice to see. Mm-hmm. Very few panic rolls, if any, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like I'm in the most control in melee that I've been maybe in about two or three years. Like I feel pretty in control with what i'm doing right now and i'm happy about it it's like it's one of the few things i'm happy on set in a melee competing side of things i feel pretty happy i was just improving every other aspect not just melee <laughs> for sure for sure yeah but i think oh, uh, right as they would say <laughs> like and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna stop the stream in three two one